Welcome back, Coronation Street fans. If you thought the drama in Weatherfield couldn't get any more intense, think again. In upcoming episode, DS Lisa Swain is faced with one of the most challenging moments of her career. The stakes are higher than ever, and Joel Deering's twisted game is unraveling faster than anyone could have imagined. But just as Lisa gets closer to exposing his crimes, she's hit with a devastating setback that could change everything. Meanwhile, Carla's legal troubles are catching up with her, and a tense confrontation leaves emotions running high. Grab a cup of tea, sit back, and let's dive into the latest explosive developments on Coronation Street. In upcoming episode of Coronation Street, DS Lisa Swain's investigation into the nefarious activities of Joel Deering took a massive hit, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. For weeks, Swain has been determined to put Deering behind bars, especially after uncovering just how deep his villainy goes. The revelations came to a head when her colleague, Kit Green, stumbled across terrifying messages on Joel's laptop, exposing a dangerous web of coercion and threats that not only put Betsy's life at risk, but also showed just how far Joel was willing to go to get what he wanted. The messages were horrifying, threats that chilled you to the bone. Joel, in his twisted desperation, had manipulated Betsy into acquiring labour-inducing drugs he later used on Lauren. But it didn't stop there. One particular message stood out, where Joel outright threatened to kill Betsy if she didn't comply with his demands. This wasn't just any criminal case for D.S. Swain. It had become personal. As her resolve to stop Joel hardened, she found herself grappling with a new challenge. She was about to be taken off the case entirely. The decision came from her superior, D.A. Costello, who had real concerns about Lisa's ability to remain objective. He feared that her judgment might be clouded due to her emotional connection to Betsy. Despite the mounting evidence against Joel, Costello reassigned the case to Kit Green, leaving Lisa reeling from the blow. For a detective as committed as Swain, stepping away wasn't an option she could stomach easily, especially not when justice felt so close. But with the weight of her superior's decision hanging over her, she had no choice but to accept it. As if Lisa's professional life wasn't complicated enough, the chaotic atmosphere of Weatherfield seemed determined to throw more obstacles her way. In a parallel storyline, Carla Connor faced her own set of troubles. Accused of actual bodily harm after an incident that saw her knock over a lad, Carla's legal issues were quickly spiralling out of control. The timing couldn't have been worse. With Sarah away in Turkey and key clients touring the factory, everything seemed to be falling apart at once. Things went from bad to worse for Carla, when Tom, the father of the boy she'd injured, made a surprise appearance at the factory. The atmosphere was tense as Tom's anger escalated, and when Carla tried to call for help, he violently knocked her phone out of her hand. It was a terrifying moment that could have ended far worse if D.S. Swain hadn't arrived in the nick of time. Despite her frustrations with the Joel Deering case, Lisa's instincts as a police officer kicked in and she quickly defused the situation, arresting Tom and ensuring Carla's safety. Later that evening, in the quieter surroundings of streetcars, Lisa and Carla found themselves in an unexpected heart-to-heart. Over a few glasses of wine, the two women opened up about the struggles they'd been facing. Carla, still grappling with the complexities of her looming divorce from Peter Barlow, admitted that the emotional toll was starting to weigh on her. Meanwhile, Lisa, who had always maintained a strong exterior, let down her guard for a brief moment, revealing the loneliness she had felt since the death of her wife. The conversation between the two women was raw and vulnerable. Carla, in a rare moment of tenderness, reached across the table and gently moved a strand of hair from Lisa's face, a small gesture that spoke volumes. The charged energy between them was undeniable, But just as the moment seemed to shift into something more, Lisa pulled back. Old habits of emotional self-preservation kicked in, and before Carla could say anything further, Lisa grabbed her bag and rushed out. The emotional weight of that final exchange between Lisa and Carla lingered long after Lisa had left. Carla, calling out for her to stay, was left sitting in silence, questioning what had just happened and whether Lisa would allow herself to confront her feelings. As much as Lisa Swain had been relentless in her pursuit of Joel Deering, when it came to matters of the heart, she was running, fast and far, from whatever emotions had surfaced in that charged moment with Carla. The episode ended on a note of uncertainty, both professionally and personally, for DS Lisa Swain. As she navigates the choppy waters of her career, trying to find a way to stay involved in the Joel Deering case, her personal life seems just as turbulent. The question is, how long can she keep running from both? With so many loose threads left dangling, the fallout from these events will surely have a lasting impact on everyone involved. That's all for now, folks. 
The streets of Weatherfield are far from quiet, and with DS Lisa Swain on the ropes, there's no telling what twists and turns are coming next. Will Lisa find a way to take Joel down? And what's going on between her and Carla after that emotional heart-to-heart? -heart? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. We want to know what you think will happen next. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a moment of the Coronation Street action. Until next time.